All right, so right now we need to get safe when we're on the far edge of the zone. Unless we're contested, do not shoot at anybody, especially that guy up there. You want to, again, focus position. Unless someone's shooting at you, focus position. Oh, he sees another enemy on the edge. I think he's about to go for it. Oh, he's sinking. No, no, brother. Prioritize rotation of position in situations like this before fighting enemies. Again, unless you're being shot at. Because instead of sneaking up to a good position, we've now created a lot of noise on the map so enemies know we're at. You know what I'm talking about? Like, up, uphill battles are hard, right? Downhill battles are... Uh, bo uphill battles are hard. Downhill... Bo uphill battles are hard. Downhill bottle... I keep saying bottles. Uphill battles are harder. Uphill battles are harder than down here. Uphill bottles are... Uphill battles are harder than downhill battles. Why was that so hard for me to say? All right, normally we don't talk about Gulag. While I pour my sneak, we will. So my strategy is always go left. If I have a Simtex, I'll just run up the stairs and spam it at the enemy. If I have a frag, I'll throw it early and jump on the ledge so I can let it bounce off the wall. And I'll always rotate to the right and look for a tactile and lethal to use later on. I see your boy sitting in the back AFK. So I do go ahead and spam. Let's go ahead and stop this real quick. So right here, I see the enemy AFK or appears to be AFK, and I already have a stun out, so I decided to whip it to the right. Why? Well, he's not left, because he just cleared left. He's not mid, because, well, duh. So the only other option, process elimination, is going to be your right-hand side, so I do that. And I hit the stun, I see him rotate, so I instantly drag over to the enemy, and I shoot him in the wiener. And I proceed to shoot some more shots, trying to go for headies, but mostly in upper, upper body shots because my aimbot's not working. And then my teammate dies without, well, without even hitting the enemy for some odd reason. So I killed him solo dolo. This guy right here is now dead to right. So I'm going to try to use this and this wall as cover. You can see I hit some shots. And again, I crack his armor because my teammate, surprise, surprise. Uh, and I have him cracked. Now I'm up. I have both my place enemies down. So I have a little bit more ego to contest than he does. So I'm going to give him a little switcheroo. What I'm going to do now is jump out to one of the sides. What this is going to do is it's going to create an option for the enemy. He's either A, going to run the opposite side to avoid me because he thinks I'm getting really, really ego-y. Or two, he's going to contest where I'm at. And that's why I instantly dive right back to where I was. So now I can kind of bait him and play it. So as I'm using this as cover, he's gonna start getting a little curious and either A, again, run from where I challenged him or two, challenge where I just was. And, and that's all she wrote. And thank God he threw the smoke because to be real, um, he didn't fall for any of the crap I just tried to do, but normally it works. So when you look at a smoke, you don't smoke the enemy because it just makes it hard for you to spot where we're coming from. You're better off smoking yourself and relocating. All right, I'm gonna pour some sneak energy real quick while we spectate your, well, that's not taking any time at all. Rapid Joey in the, in the middle of a fight right now, and I hate what he's doing. So the enemy shot at us, clearly this building behind these three, right? Clearly this one right here, I'm sorry, behind, behind these two. Clearly this building right here. So now what we have done is we have left the fight, disengaged, and we think we're in a safe spot, but we're not. Now, why are we not? Well. We only have visual on, well, really this. The enemy could wrap on us to the right. Not really smart on his move. Not really smart on his move. Or he can wrap to the left. If he wraps to the left, we'll have no idea where the enemy is. So we're kind of blinding ourselves. Now we're definitely blinding ourselves. So if you know an enemy's pushing you, you got to get the high ground. You got to stand at a spot where the enemy can be spotted if he does push. So if you don't want to stand right here, you could always stand right here and kind of play this ridge over in this area as a heady. At least you can keep your eye on this lane, this lane, and this lane. So the enemy can't push you without being exposed. Because with the time to kill, you want to expose your enemy. And not like that. So we've wasted a lot of time. So at this point, the enemy's got plenty of time to literally just do like a 180 on us. I don't, I don't know if that was your dude or not. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was him. So he rotated really fast. He didn't waste any time. And, you know, right here at 233... He starts to rotate. So let's see how long it took him to get the kill. It's probably a lot more time than I thought. So it definitely was him. And again. Literally 18 seconds. And you know, that's definitely a possibility. And you put yourself in this bad situation to die um, because you're blinding yourself. You Again, if you think the enemy's going to push you, if he's more aggressive to you than you, and hell, even if he's a better shot than you and a better player, if you could force that enemy across that open area and you can shoot him, you should be able to win the gunfight most of the time. 
So here we are spectating Nuke. Now I'm gonna go ahead and now pour my sneak energy that I use Coach Savage at checkout to get. Now you might be wondering, Savage, why in the hell do you always, always shove sneak down our throat? Well, let me tell you, if you're an energy drink carnosaur like I am, I don't know if that's the word, but it sounds fancy. If you, if you like energy drinks like I do, um, you've had them all. And the one thing I gotta say about this is not only the flavor is good, they're all good. Every energy drink's got good flavors. But the thing about this that separates it from the rest is the fact that there's no crash. Other energy drinks, I drink three, four, five a day just to maintain relevance in life. Um, this one right here, I literally woke up at 4 a.m. It's 4 p.m. and I'm just now popping my second one because I have to work till midnight. So, use code seven to check out. If you guys are uh, tired of drinking a thousand a day, all right, so whenever you're doing a stronghold, you've got to be aware of your surroundings because other enemies will definitely be coming to you, especially when you have one place like this at Dome or Zaza or whatever the hell you want to call it. All right, we got our Fennec. Definitely not a bad decision for a weapon. Hmm, how'd that bot know we were there, hacker? These bots have aimbot. I love that Activision, instead of fixing the cheating problem, they just give bots... Walls and aimbot. Weird. All right, we hear footsteps. We have a great gun for this fight. We should not lose this. Look at this guy. Oh. All right, now look, let's talk about angles and how to clear a building, right? This is definitely an area you want to check for sure. Now, both of these are basically at the same distance. The problem is you want to you want to check the doorway and clear out what you can see. And then as you push up, you want to clear the right. Just take a peek to the right and predict shit like this to happen. Granted, if we're hiding behind the other wall and we just happen to peek at a bad time, you can get screwed over. So again, as you're clearing a building, check the doorway that's got the angle on you, of course, like this one right here, but you also wanna turn and check the right-hand side. Instead of checking the right-hand side, his entire shoulder is vulnerable. He is completely committed to clearing this room before this one, when in reality, everything past this point over inside this room is, is not, is not a big concern. It would take you no time at all just to quickly check once for a split second and then continue on to clear this, this room. So that's really why he died there. And it's not like he didn't know we were here. The bots around us are dead. This is definitely an active stronghold. And even if he didn't know those two things, he had to have heard the gunshots here prior. I'm honestly surprised that's all we got as far as enemies pushing us. I'm curious to see what the meta in, in season two is going to be. I'm really curious. It's shocking to me that we've had a whole season of just really one meta. And I know other guns are usable. Okay. I just really no critique on what the hell he was doing. I just, I don't know. Um, I know other guns are usable and, and, and that's good. That's a good difference between this and Warzone 1. But man, the Finnick RPK, dude, if you just run into a decent player with that and you don't have one, uh, it's going to be a little bit harder and a lot more frustrating when you're going to fight. It's not impossible, but definitely not easy. All right, unfortunately, my recording software ended the uh, recording on its own as he got that kill. But don't worry, he literally was doing nothing but crouch walking to the door. Um, it would have been a perfect example, example to say, I told you so, don't crouch walk in the open. But unfortunately, we'll never be able to see that again. Well, we will just from other players. All right, we go to melee the sky. It costs us a few points. Great job smoking. Now, smokes are crucial, in my opinion. I think smokes are probably one of the best tools to have. Um, to each their own. I think all tacticals are really useful in this game. But smokes, especially with time to kill, dude, you've got to have it. I mean, notice how fast he was able to just throw that thing down and get out of that situation. Granted, we got lucky the enemy misses bullets, but... That happens a lot, you know, no matter what lobby you're in, even high KD or high SB on lobbies, you're going to have a lot of body or players. So you're better off carrying smokes, not just for situations like that, but also for situations of you need to go to the buy and it's, and it's being watched. You need to, you know, go for a resident teammate because he's downed and you can smoke him out and do so. You need to push across an area in enemy's gatekeeping you're at. It allows you to do so. There's so many viable tactics you could utilize smokes for. And I got to say, it's nice to finally see a video game that's got smokes nailed. It's probably the best I've seen since Counter-Strike. All right, I've got the enemy suppressed. We could utilize this opportunity to push up and challenge him. To be honest, I probably would have used the, su 
the airstrike after I plated so that I could have pushed while the precision was coming down his face. Great observation, just looking where the enemy was, but keeping his eyes scanning around to see where he could possibly rotate to. Let's see if he gets on this rooftop or not. I would have liked to have seen him get on that rooftop. And to be honest, the enemy really didn't play that well at all. He didn't play any cover, any concealment whatsoever. Um, just bad play on his part. He just had the high ground, and unfortunately, he had a better gun at that range than we did. So speaking of which, real quick. Now, it's not his fault. I'm sure in his mind, he was thinking the name's probably be closer than this. You can't really predict when bad players make bad plays, not talking about pain, more or less talking about this. I just think that was a horrible play. This guy standing in the open, it just worked out because we had the Fennec out instead of something a little bit better at range. Didn't help that we missed our shots too, but again, right gun for the right fight. And again, I'm not gonna slay him because I'm sure his mindset was the enemy be closer. That would be my mindset too. I'd probably have the same death. Um, but it is what it is. Now, here we are spectating Notorious. Now, look, the edge of the circle, we've got to get safe. We are nowhere near a good position. And again, when you play the edge, you usually play stupid games with other players who are playing stupid games. Remember, edge is a great spot to go hunting at because players like this, or I'm not going to say like this. We don't know how this gameplay is going to be yet. But players who aren't as good at the game usually hug the edge out of fear. So it's a good spot for aggressive players to clean up some kills. If you guys are not competent, if you guys are not good, if you guys are bots, whatever you want to call yourself, if you're just not where you want to be gameplay wise, please, I'm going to say this every time, stay away from the edge. I'm telling you right now, the closer the edge you are, the greater chance you have to get clapped by multiple players because everyone else is playing the edge. And look, we have a minute to rotate and it's a far rotation from the looks of it. Look, suppress them, and now it's, now it's our turn to bail out of here, dude. We got to make a break all the way to the opposite side behind us and hopefully wide rotate, because even if we kill this guy, there's a huge, huge chance there's another enemy on the hill gatekeeping us. Huge chance. I see somebody saw Jay God's tweet. <laughs> He's using that scope. All right, so let's look at the map real quick. It's a huge wide rotation. So this is going to be a fun ending to talk about. If you guys are struggling with your in-game situations, this is going to be a perfect one for you guys to learn. The best circles to learn in are the ones that are terrain-based. The worst circles to learn in are the ones that are in cities because, again, no matter what you do, circle rotation from the random circles at the very end will always screw over Pete players no matter what you're doing. So I can't wait to talk about this one, but we got a long way to go. And, um, again, because he's playing the edge, I don't think he's going to get there nothing against notorious but just you know history repeats itself and when we've been spectating players doing this for god knows how long and again the goal and purpose of this video is not to make anybody feel bad about their gameplay it's literally just to show you guys if you see a player playing a certain way and it reminds you of your gameplay and i correct the things this guy's doing just take mental notes and try to avoid doing those things. Honestly, great job just kind of coming in here, following the enemy, and uh, really just enjoying that beautiful, easy third party. Um, also, guys, if you would like to submit your gameplay to be analyzed and reviewed here on the channel, whether it's a video, whether it's on live stream, make sure you join our Discord page. When you guys join our Discord, you're gonna go to click here first, and you're just gonna select one of these roles. Doesn't matter which one, they're all the same. It just gives you guys the ability to see all of our pages. Now, what this does for you is two things. There's a looking for squads page. So if you guys need teammates, guess what? My name is Jeff. Your name's Jeff. You, you, you have Warzone 1 you can do if you're still playing it, which clearly not many people are, and you have Warzone 2. Now, I just made this page literally three days ago, and it's already pretty active, so I want you guys to take full advantage of that. Again, this is for you guys. It's better, you're better off playing with people that you can talk to in the community, um, other people that are trying to get better like yourself, than it is playing with randoms who you don't even know if they have eyeballs. Um, also, if you wanna submit your videos, there is a submit videos under the Warzone coaching page, which you guys can clearly submit. And I'm gonna try to break them all down. This is gonna be something we didn't do in Warzone 1. I was only able to break them down on video, but now that I live stream here on YouTube, 
whatever doesn't go to the actual videos on the channel, we will do on live stream so you guys can check that out also. Now I know that was a lot and I'm gonna do that here and there um, for these videos probably twice a week because you know, Discord's a little confusing and we had to add that click a roll thing just to avoid getting all these sex bots in there. Cause dude, these sex bots are, they're out there strong. But the community has been so great to me. We did that during Warzone 1 and we had over 14,000 people utilize that and take advantage of it. And a lot of teams were made and you guys can hopefully continue that. And I'm gonna be advertising it a lot more than I did in Warzone 1. So hopefully we can get it bigger, which will give you guys a bigger player base to pull from. All right, right now, you know, I just don't understand why we're shooting the bots. You know, if you're doing the stronghold, if you're doing things, fine. Um, but all we're doing is wasting our plates and I don't know how many he has total, but again, you're wasting plates too. You're bringing attention to your area. So if there are enemies that are gatekeeping us up here on the edge of the zone or shit, even closer than that, we could be a very, very vulnerable target, which is something you don't want to be. Again, I'm all about being aggressive and fighting, but when it comes to rotation, rotation is your first and foremost, ut utmost goal. It's better to be stealthy and get to a good spot than start shooting at everything around you and drag enough attention to you to where you can't get safe. All right, here we are spectating the gazelle sitting in the grass, enjoying the beautiful summer day, looking around, not a care in the world, forgetting where they're at right now, forgetting what they're playing. Oh, weird, another player on the edge. We're gonna go ahead and utilize a cluster for no reason whatsoever and kill him with our gun anyway. Um, massive waste, massive waste with the cluster. Why? Well, you know, I'm not a really big fan of clusters and precisions, mostly because they're overly used and overly saturated on the map. But when you do have one, you need to hold on to it for two reasons. One, if you get a knock and you can't execute them, there you go. Two, if you're being shot at and you're out of the zone or you need to rotate somewhere that's dangerous and there's a building holding you, you're better off having a cluster of precision to spam on that, hopefully suppressing the enemy so you can have a clear way out. It's what we like to call suppression, right? Suppressive fire from the sky above. So don't know why he did that, especially when the end goal was just to aim at the guy and shoot him anyway. And at the distance he was, that should have been his first thought. All right. Okay, so we instantly go prone. So the problem with this, and there's probably not anybody over here, to be honest. Granted, it's the edge but it's such a wide open area and the circle's favoring the opposite side. I'll doubt if anyone's here, but always better safe than sorry. So what you want to do is reload your gun. You got to reload your gun and play it up before you do anything, to be honest. I don't care if the circle's coming in, I don't give a shit. Because if someone starts shooting at you and you only have 21 bullets, especially with the Camaro, if someone starts shooting at range, it's going to be a little bit difficult. Granted, he could just switch to his RPK, but if someone does push us, if someone's in this bush, it's, we're going to put ourselves in a bad spot. 30 rounds isn't the best to begin with, but bring, losing those extra nine can be crucial. Oh my God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did he run out of bullets? No way. No. Oh my God, he did. Weird. To be honest though, we're all guilty of it. I'd, say, I'm, I'd be lying if I sat here in front of you guys and said, yeah, I never do this. Bullshit, savage. We all do. We all make mistakes. But the, 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 what you want to do is make sure whatever bad mistakes you're making aren't habitual. The worst thing players can do is just be making a habit of the same mistake over and over and over. Granted, I didn't really predict that guy to be there either, but again, you can't predict anything. <laughs> Always better safe than sorry. You can make educated guesses. You can use deductive reasoning, but nothing's ever 100% certain. What in the... F <laughs> what? I don't know if Ken is a streamer and this guy was like teabagging him. He had a gun on him. Maybe this guy wanted a fist yeah. fight. Your name's Jeff. I don't I don't know what it is. Every time you hear my name is Jeff, we get a YouTube follower. So guys, uh, welcome. But he got whacked off and now we're moving on. <laughs> now we're moving on. All right, dude, I haven't had any of this damn drink yet. because I've been talking the whole time. So again, we got to get position. Position is utmost importance. And I would like to see Ken rotate to the high ground. It's the easy spot. A lot of players avoid going to the high ground because it's wide open area. Let's go ahead and rewind to the map. So a lot of players, because it's actually ending up here. So a lot of players don't like playing up here. And now in my mind, I wonder why, but when I start thinking like how players are, like when I was a new BR player seven years ago, got them old, um, I realized why. Because it's wide open. If people are on your level, you're an easy target. So they think. Well, the problem is there's a lot of dunes, a lot of ridges, a lot of 
things you can play rocks and things like that so you want to grab the high ground always you don't want to play the lower ground right here you don't want to play the buildings you don't want to play over here you don't basically again you just want to play this so that's where you need to go all right we're driving up and then we have a car to get there so we can do so really fast we don't have to worry about walking on foot and getting shot from someone sitting in a building even though vehicles do draw attention if i need to get somewhere on the opposite side of the zone and i have the ability to i will take um the vehicle no doubt about it and again, yeah, just look at that. That's exactly where I'm gonna go. And okay. He's like, which corner's the best? Let me try them all. Look at this. Again, I'm not trying to be mean, but that's all I can be is just me. And I don't know what else to say about this. It's a nice painting. So we spectated one dude laying prone in the grass, sunbathing, and now here we are watching one dude sit on a TV. Again, this is a spot you wanna be at. You wanna be up here. You wanna be in the high ground there's no scenario on earth where this is the better position you might be wondering but savage what if the circle goes back down to the buildings well that's a lot of what ifs and it could you know half the circle does favor the area with the buildings aka the low ground the problem is if the circle favors the top and we're down here it's going to be a lot harder for us to push up the high ground when enemies can play the ridges as headies and shoot down on us it's gonna be a lot easier to rotate from up here to the buildings for multiple reasons. Yes, the buildings will have doors and, and rooftops and windows they can shoot you out of, and it is pretty wide open for the most part. But again, with the utilization of hopefully smokes, and even if you don't have them, a lot of ridges, a lot of bush, a lot of taking advantage of other people fighting and sneaking up when they're distracted. There's a lot of things you can do to push into an area that's not really easy to push to if it's downhill. Uphill is going to be always the most uh, difficult battle. What, you, are, you know the saying, right? Don't why fight a building uphill. Why fight, why take a fight uphill? Or I don't fucking know it, but you know what I'm talking about. Like, up, uphill battles are hard, right? Downhill battles are uh, bo uphill battles are hard. Downhill bo uphill battles are hard. Downhill bottle. I keep saying bottles. Uphill battles are harder. Uphill battles are harder than down here. Uphill bottles are uphill battles are harder than downhill battles. Why was that so hard for me to say? It's like that in life and it's like that in games. It's like that with strategy. So this is just not where you want to be at. And it's breaking my heart watching your boy Ken do that with eight kills. Why? Because he's got eight kills. He's in solos. This might be a really good game for your boy. And, you know, will he throw it? Most likely. Is there a chance he'll win? For sure. There's always a chance. And we did get favored. Ooh, okay still i still stand by what i said why because this is still safe whoever's up here is going to be in a really good spot for now um if it dives back the opposite way that's going to be a whole nother story but again you can utilize the other eight players fighting to hopefully push yourself off of here in a stealthy manner i always want to be on the high ground no matter what the last place i want to be is in a building like this a paranoia right now he keeps looking to the right there's, I mean, first off, <laughs> oh, we spotted an enemy. No, he does doing it again. Why is everyone doing this? Okay, okay, okay. He changed his mind. Remember, use the precision if you're in a bad spot. We're in a bad spot now, but that's not where you want to use it. Just because you see an enemy doesn't mean you need to streak them. If we need to go up the hill, if we need to go even shit across the street to the left-hand side, we're going to want that precision to get there safely to suppress the enemies. Come on, my guy. You just can't help yourself, Ken. Brother. Now, look, I'm all for taking kills for sure. And I'm not going to tell you guys not to do that unless you're playing like Ken. If you're playing scared and you're trying to be, you're trying to hide and you don't want to be found, <laughs> you're playing hide and seek with the lobby. Why draw attention yourself to kill a guy that's clearly going to die anyway? And you didn't even get the kill. The enemy was already shooting at him. This guy was already hurt. We literally just like, <laughs> we just got hungry. Now me per se, I would, I would have, I would have shot the crap out of that dude. But I also wouldn't be sitting in, <laughs> sitting in a building on a, on a TV. So we know there's an enemy by this wall. We hear the glass break to our left. We know there's an enemy there. Oh, what the, f what? Well, did he see something I didn't? Did he see a, a rat? He shot the ground like a... <laughs> nope, I don't know. You know. My eyes deceive me. 
Now again, we made it made a lot of noise and put ourselves in a corner. It might work out, but look, we've got three seconds to rotate out of this spot and we have an enemy behind us and somewhere in front of us. And we need to again get to a higher spot and it did rotate to the, to the edge. Now, to be honest, the rotations like these are very rare, right? The, if a sliver of the high ground's in, most of the time it's not gonna be favored. It's just, we got lucky. It's still preferred spot, but the fact they got favored again, uh. All right, you see that guy? I like the fact they didn't shoot at him. That's that's the life you want to live. You see that guy back there? You don't want to shoot at him, brother. You need to rotate. You need to get safe. The guy you saw before, your left, he's the bigger threat than the guy that's in a fight and it's probably going to die again anyway. And he's being clustered. But you just had to get that one tap on him to crack his plates and bring a lot of attention to yourself. Now, again, there's a guy up here on the left. At least there was. He could be dead. He's also got top. You just saw the blood splatter on top of the hill. And we go to a bush. Now, look, this is not cover nor concealment. Concealment hides your body from visibility. Cover hides you from the ability to get shot the fuck out of by bullets, right? It blocks bullets. That's cover. Concealment is being hidden. Cover is protecting you from incoming rounds. So this is not cover <laughs> because your body's sticking out. And everyone on the map probably just saw you go prone in the bush. So avoid this at all costs. You might be wondering, what do you do? You're in a bad spot no matter what. This is still not the option. You're better off trying to outgun the enemies than just committing to this. Okay, you wouldn't predict that would happen, to be honest. I don't know what just hit him. Something exploded. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. You had a, you had the right idea, homie? Look at this. Four seconds left for circle to rotate. We've got about, I'd say, six or seven seconds of the durable gas mask, and we just had a beautiful rock. Look at this. This is, this is the idea. You had it. Cover, baby. You can't shoot you through that. This is a good spot. This is where you want to be. And he leaves it. Plus, look at the hit indicator, right? He got shot from the right. There's still a guy up here. But instead of playing it, instead of paying attention to the minimap, he goes to the zone while having a dury. And he dies. Now, let me ask you this. Since he was in the zone and he had the, uh, the only piece of cover out there, do you think he probably would have won if he just would have played it? He would have had a way better shot. But again, he panicked. Blood pressure was through the roof. He got really nervous and he just wasn't paying attention to surroundings. Now, we don't have a gas mask, so we don't have to worry about it being pulled up on our face. It is a 1v1 right now. I don't know if the guy that your boy was shooting at killed that dude or not, because were, there were two of us, two of them fighting behind us in the gas. He may have died, but I at least want to peep over there just in case. And look, no, again, again, you're getting, you're getting too excited. Way too excited over here hopping like it's Fortnite. Look at this. Your dad blows me. That's that's weird, bro. Dad, hey, you gonna stop that? Come on, man, you make me look bad out here. Look, we had the high ground. There's no reason for us to jump off of this like a gazelle. Yeah, I used gazelle reference twice, sue me. We had the spot, we had the position. This is, this is, this is an easy dub for your boy. He might still win but he's making his job a lot harder than it has to be. Just like the last guy didn't pay attention to the minimap, didn't pay attention to it at all. And here we are. Oh shit, we gotta go back up. Um, This is not what you wanna do. And look, skill levels come in all shapes and sizes. But again, no matter how skilled you are or how bad you are, you never as a player wanna make your job harder than it has to be. Come on, baby. You got it. No, oh, man. Dang it. But again, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope a lot of you guys out there that are struggling with the game are taking some notes and learning from the mistakes these guys are making. And don't get twisted. I'm not a perfect player either. I don't think any of us are. It's, it's a struggle bus for everybody, especially uh, those of us who used to drop 30s and now <laughs> struggle to get 20. Um, but guys, look, there's lessons for everybody in these videos. Make sure you guys aren't making the same mistakes these guys are. And I know most of y'all are because, again, we spectate this day in and day out. And unfortunately, it is what it is. But guys, have a good one. Good luck in Warzone, guys. Again, take these notes to your advantage. Become a better player. But until next time, good luck in Warzone.